Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be exploring the fascinating anatomy of the lungs, specifically the fact that the left lung is about 10% smaller than the right lung. This asymmetry is quite intriguing and is primarily due to the presence of the heart, which occupies space on the left side of the chest cavity. I'll be sharing some insightful facts and useful information about lung structure and function, including 1. Structure of the lungs the left lung has two lobes, while the right lung has three, which helps to accommodate the heart on the left side. 2. Functionality. Despite being smaller, the left lung efficiently performs gas exchange, providing oxygen to the blood and removing carbon dioxide. 3. Health considerations. Understanding the differences can help in diagnosing and treating respiratory diseases, as conditions may affect one lung differently than the other. 4. Interesting facts. Did you know that the total surface area of the lungs is roughly the size of a tennis court? This extensive surface is crucial for effective gas exchange. 5. Techniques for studying lungs. I'll also share some methods used by medical professionals and researchers to study lung function and health, such as spirometry and imaging techniques. Let's dive in. The lungs play a crucial role in the respiratory system and are essential for the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the body. The main functions of the lungs in the human body are 1. Gas exchange. The primary function of the lungs is to facilitate the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the air we breathe and the blood. Oxygen from the air diffuses into the blood vessels in the lungs, while carbon dioxide, a waste product of cellular metabolism, is expelled from the body through exhalation. 2. Oxygenation. The lungs help oxygenate the blood, ensuring that oxygen is delivered to all cells and tissues throughout the body. Adequate oxygenation is essential for cellular respiration and energy production. 3. Removal of carbon dioxide. The lungs also help remove carbon dioxide, a byproduct of cellular metabolism, from the bloodstream. Carbon dioxide is then exhaled out of the body during respiration. 4. Regulation of pH balance. The lungs play a role in maintaining the acid-base balance in the body by regulating the levels of carbon dioxide and bicarbonate ions in the blood. 5. Immune defense. The lungs contain specialized immune cells and mucous membranes that help protect the respiratory tract from pathogens and foreign particles, reducing the risk of infections and respiratory illnesses. 6. Regulation of blood pressure. The lungs produce and release substances that help regulate blood vessel constriction and dilation, which can affect blood pressure regulation. Overall, the lungs are vital organs that support respiratory function, oxygen exchange, and the overall health and well-being of the human body. Maintaining healthy lung function is essential for optimal health and quality of life. Why human left lung is about 10% smaller than right one? The left lung is slightly smaller than the right lung because of the space taken up by the heart. The heart is located slightly to the left of the center of the chest, which causes the left lung to have a slightly smaller volume in order to accommodate the heart. Additionally, the asymmetrical positioning of the heart and other structures in the chest cavity also contribute to the slight size difference between the two lungs. So, does that mean the left lung functions the same as the right lung, just slightly smaller? Yes, that is correct. The left lung functions similarly to the right lung despite being slightly smaller. Both lungs play a vital role in respiration, exchanging oxygen and carbon dioxide with the blood to provide the body with the necessary oxygen for cellular function. The left lung is divided into two lobes, upper and lower, just like the right lung, and both lungs have a similar structure and function in terms of gas exchange and ventilation. The size difference between the two lungs does not significantly impact their overall function. Does the size difference affect breathing in any way? The size difference between the left and right lungs does not typically affect breathing in a significant way for most people. Both lungs work together in a coordinated manner to facilitate breathing, and the slightly smaller. Size of the left lung should not cause any noticeable issues with breathing function. However, in some cases, certain medical conditions or structural abnormalities can affect the function of the lungs and impact breathing. For example, if a person has a lung disease or a condition that affects the anatomy of the chest cavity, 
it may result in difficulty breathing. In such cases, the size difference between the left and right lungs could potentially play a role in exacerbating breathing problems. Overall, the size difference between the left and right lungs is a normal anatomical variation that does not typically affect breathing function in healthy individuals. What would happen if someone had a problem with their left lung? If someone were to have a problem with their left lung, it could potentially impact their breathing and overall respiratory function. Some possible issues that could arise from a problem with the left lung include 1. Reduced lung function, any condition or injury affecting the left lung could result in decreased lung function, such as reduced oxygen exchange or impaired ventilation. 2. Respiratory symptoms, common symptoms of lung problems include shortness of breath, coughing, chest pain, wheezing, and difficulty breathing. These symptoms could vary depending on the specific condition affecting the left lung. 3. Lung conditions. There are various lung conditions that could affect the left lung, such as pneumonia, pulmonary embolism, lung cancer, pleural effusion, or pulmonary fibrosis. These conditions can lead to serious health complications if left untreated. 4. Asymmetrical lung function. If the left lung is significantly compromised, the right lung may have to work harder to compensate, which could potentially lead to strain on the right lung and affect overall respiratory function. Treatment for lung problems can vary depending on the underlying cause and severity of the condition. It's important for individuals experiencing respiratory symptoms or suspected lung issues to seek medical attention for proper diagnosis and management. What are the common symptoms of lung problems that I should watch out for? Common symptoms of lung problems that you should watch out for include 1. Shortness of breath or difficulty breathing 2. Persistent or chronic cough 3. Chest pain or tightness 4. Wheezing or noisy breathing 5. Coughing up blood or bloody mucus 6. Fatigue or weakness 7. Recurrent respiratory infections 8. Unexplained weight loss. 9. Difficulty breathing during physical activity. 10. Bluish tint to lips or nails, cyanosis. If you experience any of these symptoms, especially if they are persistent or severe, it is important to consult a healthcare provider for a proper evaluation and diagnosis. Early detection and treatment of lung problems can help prevent potential complications and improve outcomes. What are the treatment option if any problem will occur for left and right lungs functions? The treatment options for lung problems can vary depending on the specific condition affecting the lungs. Some common treatment options for lung problems include 1. Medications. Depending on the underlying cause of the lung problem, medications such as antibiotics, bronchodilators, corticosteroids, or antiviral drugs may be prescribed to help manage symptoms and treat the condition. 2. Oxygen therapy. In cases of respiratory failure or low oxygen levels, supplemental oxygen therapy may be administered to help improve oxygenation of the blood and alleviate breathing difficulties. 3. Pulmonary rehabilitation. This program may include exercises, education, and breathing techniques to improve lung function and overall respiratory health. 4. Respiratory therapy. Techniques such as chest physiotherapy, breathing exercises, and the use of mechanical devices may be helpful in managing certain lung conditions. 5. Surgical intervention. In some cases, surgical procedures may be necessary to address lung problems, such as lung resection, removal of a portion of the lung, lung transplant, or surgical treatment of lung cancer. 6. Lifestyle modifications. Quitting smoking, maintaining a healthy weight, staying physically active, and avoiding exposure to environmental toxins can help improve lung health and prevent further damage. It is important to consult with a healthcare provider for an accurate diagnosis and personalized treatment plan tailored to your specific lung condition. Treatment options will be based on factors such as the underlying cause, severity of the condition, and individual health needs. I hope that this video is informative for anyone interested in studying the lungs and enhances your understanding of their anatomy and importance. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights and educational content.